In a speech read on her behalf by Omsati Regional Governor Erginis Injala, Minister of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare, Doreen Sioka, emphasized the important role women have continued to play at the front line in the fight against COVID-19 as healthcare workers, caregivers, innovators, community organizers, and as national leaders. The COVID-19 pandemic crisis has highlighted both centrality of women contribution and disproportionate burden that women carry. Challenged worlds and alert worlds. And from challenge come change. So, in order for us to achieve an equal future in a COVID world, we need to all choose to challenge. Speaking at the event, senior traditional advisor Joanna Paulus advised men to stop abusing their wives and in the same breath called on women to stop abusing their stepchildren. Sometimes men who are the main breadwinners tend not to be responsible in taking care of their households. This is also a form of abuse. Therefore, we need to address such mistreatment to create awareness within our communities. On the other hand, some women in our society, whether breadwinners or not, need to be fair in treating their children. All children deserve equal treatment regardless whether the child was born out of wedlock or not. Okalongo Constituency Councillor Laurentius Ipinge says his office receives a lot of complaints from girls who say they are being abused by their stepfathers, but their mothers are not reporting the cases to the police. He advised women to report these cases. <laughs> 